If you think my hyperlapses suck, then ignore my terrible advice. I'm an aerial photographer. Maybe I'm crap. I don't know. But if you want something similar to what I'm doing, first of all, the Mavic 2 Pro shoots with a full one-inch sensor, and that's a big deal to everybody because they think that gives them way better highlights and way better lows. That's great, but it really doesn't matter if you're shooting standard JPEGs and just using the hyperlapse out of the drone. It's going to look awful no matter what you're shooting compared to shooting raw photos, stacking them together in Adobe Lightroom, manually editing the first one, and it's as simple as editing the first photo with knobs and sliders, making sure the color all looks nice, and then just selecting all of them and syncing them. And it adds those settings to every single photo. Then when you save them, your hyperlapse winds up being over 4K. You can stabilize it with Adobe Premiere, or you can just leave it the way it is and make that a, a video. The point is, you get phenomenal quality compared to the JPEG stack of photos that you get out of the camera. It's only gonna be as strong as what the processor inside the drone and the one that's built into the iPhone while you're running your app will give you. So that's the first thing. Second, most people weren't even trying to do the hyperlapse with the original Mavic I was back in the day, but you have to set it manually to do one photo every five seconds and orbit something and shoot in raw. So because of that extra hump, most people weren't doing it, but now that all this attention has been brought to hyperlapses because of the Mavic 2 Pro, people are starting to try and put more effort in. The process is exactly the same for both to get actual professional looking hyperlapses. You shoot at one half second because that gives you the sharpest, from what I can tell, the sharpest photos without you know getting too much blurs. And you take all those raws into Lightroom. You have to edit like that if you want it to look super, super good. I have a video on how to do this, but all the examples I give you to download so you can edit with me are with the Mavic Pro 1. The process is the same for both drones though. So they're both shooting raws and then editing manually but it gives you way way better results so if you aren't already doing that don't fret about not having the shiniest new toys